the fatty issues with animal tissues are stored in dead tanks. It's 40,000 gallons. Uh, actually, it's 30 day storage. Why 30 days? Because that's the caller's frequency of actually visiting the, uh, the restaurants to grab uh, ground grease. Tank. This one here essentially receives all the food waste that comes from uh, haulers. And those are both the food processors is daily delivery and it gets mixed with the, uh, with the manure. There is a proportion we are not going to go beyond, and that's essentially the engineer's call to make sure that we do not overload the uh, organic content into the vehicle. Has there been any competition for that, uh, for those, that waste, that food waste, or food processing, like restaurant food waste, with, for example, like biodiesel developers? or? Um, you could get into a competition. One of the things we did, rather than trying to kind of go directly at customers that have the food waste, we are directly contracting uh, a hauler. Who actually has the has the operation and has a business of going and picking up that material from a food processor or whether it's a restaurant or whatever. I mean that what that does is you have to establish relationships and establish long-term contracts with people. And these these people have already been through. So you don't want to make anyone sure. lose their jobs. Where where do you know where they would would have been hauling that that waste? Where, would they call it They're if they like weren't coming here? Reason. Probably a wastewater treatment facility. But you're not taking yellow grease. No, yellow grease. No, yellow grease. Unfortunately, has a market value. Yeah. We take yeah. uh, we take the materials that actually bring us living grease. Yeah. yeah. So brown grease, uh, yellow grease, right now goes to uh, uh, mostly goes to uh, uh, biodiesel plants. Yeah.